<laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, okay, so welcome to Film Study Podcast with Lexi. I'm Lexi, and oh my god, this is, this, this, maybe, I don't know, now I'm like, it's starting to hit me that this is like one of my last, because you're back on Chanel. <laughs> came for the finale. <laughs> it came for the finale, it's full circle. <laughs> Audience, first of all, Chanel has been so requested, I would get like DMs, I would get texts, I would get comments on my videos being like what happened to your friend that would do the like intros in the, in the finales <laughs> and she has not been watching all american but because she wanted to she wanted to give the people what they want she so graciously <laughs> came back it is gonna do the two-part season six finale with us episode 14 and 15 uh and the end of spencer james and it looks like and it looks like olivia's story maybe as well uh so we'll we'll see about that but anyway here's me and chanel reviewing i do Mm -hmm. part one uh season six episode 14 so let's hop into it how do you feel coming back having not watched it in since i want to say since season four season three season three No, no it was like season four I'm positive. I'm, I'm positive. It was like it was um Jordan and Layla kissed for the first time. Spencer and Olivia left on that cliffhanger. Uh it was a That's championship the first time. Yeah. Okay. College. Because I yeah, they were in college. I left before Billy died. So I didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. That. that was that was last season. That was okay. last season. Yeah. Oh, that was season five. Oh, I thought like so much more time passed. Okay, maybe I'm not mm-hmm. as far. Just a season. Just a just a season. Just a season. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I guess two, two uh, now because it's we're at the end yeah. of the season. But right, right, right. Like two full seasons. <laughs> How do you feel coming back? I'm coming back. Uh, was it like? Were you shocked by any of the things that you saw? Were you like? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I. <laughs> First of all, I was like, okay, well, where are we now? What's going on? You know, people, it, it opened and they're talking about houses and stuff. I was like, oh, okay, we're grown. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, <laughs> buy houses and whatnot. I <laughs> see where we're at. Um, but I guess just coming back as a whole. Are you like, it's good to be back? Or are you like. <laughs> I'm like. I don't want to say, like, I see why I fell off, but I kind of see why I fell off <laughs> a little tiny bit. It's you said dope, the budget like, is not, not budgeting. No, don't get me wrong. It's not that It's not that the show is bad at all. I just think, I don't know how to say it properly. I just think that it... <laughs> It has just gotten very, um, I don't know, like cookie cutter type of thing. Like, you know, yeah. these little jokes, these little, th- there's no, there's no gripping storyline. There's just, again, simply from coming back after not being here since season four, nothing that I saw today was like, oh my gosh, I need to catch up because this was amazing. Like I've been missing out. Like, for yeah, example, and that's fair. Different show. Yeah, yeah. This Go this ahead. makes a lot of sense though, because and I don't think that's bad of you to say because I'm honestly asking you to do a lot in coming to the season finale because we were just talking about how we've jumped basically two years just within the last two episodes, and so you've missed a lot, and also like the audience has missed a lot, and these last two episodes were i don't think you know this but these last two episodes they didn't even know that they were gonna have after they like they found out about these two episodes basically i think as they were filming the finale (laughs) and so the finale is what we watched two weeks ago and these are extra episodes that they had like asked for requested to basically give the character the send-off that they wanted and so i think that's why okay. there's not as much of like everything that's going on like or drama, ripping storyline yeah. yeah drama because it's literally just it, it, it is the cookie cutter happy ending for spencer james 
it's giving very much epilogue, you know? It is giving epilogue, and that's how it, that's, uh, as soon as I saw that they sort of kept the finale the same, uh, I Mm -hmm. feel like I was expecting them to change it a little bit after they got these uh, two episodes, but they didn't. They literally kept it the same, and so the same word you use, I was just like, these these two episodes, even before I saw it, I was just like, oh, this is like, this is the epilogue of what we are. Especially when you start time jumping, like that much. Yeah. You already know what it is. Yeah, they're really just trying to tie everything up. So I don't know. Maybe it wasn't the best episode for me to watch to kind of get back into. So I don't, like you said, I don't want to like judge or rate it necessarily. Because again, to me, it was just like, all right, you know, yeah, it was average. It was but, like not, yeah, it was not much going on. It was not much going yeah. on. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there was a I, lot going on, but I mean, yeah, at but also time, at the same nothing. time. <laughs> A lot I've on missed you. Nothing. I've missed you so. I've missed you so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it, it's just that uh, that I wasn't home for a particular reason. But I wasn't home, so I didn't get to see every single scene sort of gotcha, in order. Gotcha. So it's going to be, so audience, it's going to be set up a little bit differently. We're literally going to, it's going to be like the olden days where I would just do it off dog. <laughs> do it off no though, but go in order no script <laughs> oh, no there's no we're, there's a loose script this time around but that that's gonna be that's gonna be fun for us um but yeah it's it's this was a it very much did feel like an epilogue to me as well and it very much did feel like they're wrapping up uh wrapping up stories um and so getting into the episode, getting into the episode, we start with <laughs> we start with Spencer coming on. He's wearing his championship jacket, which you know what? Rock the championship jacket. But also it's been five months, so I'm like, is he just like <laughs> wearing this championship <laughs> jacket? I mean, I would too if I was a rookie uh Super Bowl MVP. <laughs> Is that what had happened? That's crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rookie MVP. They were still living the Rookie championship. MVP. Rookie MVP. Walk off touchdown. Huh. Winning the Super Bowl in his okay. rookie season. I mean, I've seen it done before, at least in basketball. So it's not completely like, but not MVP though. But anyway, <laughs> it's okay. So again, it is very, it is very inspirational and hopeful. Is this ending of All American for Spencer? Story. It's like very fantasy, but okay. It's very fantasy. <laughs> We're uh, listen, black fantasy for everybody. That, like was like <laughs> clamoring for more black fantasy stories. Here you go. Let me just don't make believe. <laughs> Let me put you. Actually, somebody was like, somebody was like, and I, I thought this was maybe a step too far, but somebody was like, so when is All American gonna do their like getting powers storyline like Riverdale? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's another one I fell off from. That's you know what the CW is known for that mess. They've done it with yeah. multiple shows. That's they their have, thing because they, they did it the, apparently is... in the one hundred as well. There is no, there's no powers here. There's no powers here. It's okay. just very, very happy, go lucky sort of thing. Uh, but Spencer comes back early for their wedding weekend. Um, coming off of again that championship run, that MVP run, uh, and they have a little joke. So it's like Spencer and Olivia talking about like, oh, your miss is like soon to be MVP, and right off the bat, we know it's their wedding weekend, but right off the bat, we get them sort of like opening a gift early and then they get a gift of knives and then like a mirror breaks and you just feel this sense that like this is going to be their storyline for the episode is it going to be live freaking out about all of this potential bad luck and <laughs> Spencer trying to calm her down and I think like that's that's what we got and so she so they open the knives they open the mirrors uh and I'll, I'll go a little bit through the storylines um b- because 
I think that's probably the best way to set it up. And I feel like they also just had the most going on. Like, nothing else really happened in this show besides yeah. Spencer and Olivia. So it was like, Liv was thinking that it was going to be seven years of bad luck. And then Spencer sees Liv in her dress, which is really bad. But also, it wasn't it wasn't the day of the wedding. So what did you think about like this sort of like bad luck storyline that they gave them? it's a storyline it's not it's not bad it was fine <laughs> this is fine in terms of fine. in terms of let me ask you a different way in terms of i think people expected it to be more dramatic because them getting mm-hmm. together has been such a long journey. You didn't see season exactly. five, but they were apart for all of season five. Uh, but we know that they're, we know their history, right? Is that they didn't start mm-hmm. off together. We knew that they were always going to end up together. Uh, it didn't go that way in the beginning. And then we got Vegas and the mess of Vegas and like all of that. Uh, and then they had some like little problems here and there in college. And obviously now they're together. And so I think mm-hmm. for, us as viewers and i think like really really uh i'd say like strong like very very heavy spolivia stands like these are like the super fans they were just like don't give them any drama on their wedding day gotcha. because they've already been through so much and so i think like in terms of them doing a dramatic storyline this is probably the best they that they could get away, away with. with yeah yeah get mm-hmm. away with and what they came away with giving us a storyline to watch something on tv without it being like something major that's derailed because we know nothing's gonna derail their relationship at this point right, but this right. was something that they could do to keep us entertained for this you know hour that we watch the show um without giving them any major drama so like in terms of that and in terms of this being like bad luck do you think that they could have done anything different besides the bad luck honestly i i wasn't quite sure because i'm jumping a little bit to the end but i guess i understand what you're saying now in terms of all the stuff that they've lived through it just kept coming up especially about the bad weather and all of this stuff and i'm like oh my god is someone gonna die like is someone not gonna yeah it was also giving like billy when he was like i don't think i don't know if you saw this one but billy was like really worried about omens or whatever and he was just like the weather is bad and he always felt that way and jordan has also had a similar storyline and so it felt like this was Liv's turn of the bakers to like freak out uh about everything because we know the bakers are good at freaking out um but I appreciated, I'll say this, I appreciated that every single step of the way, Spencer was there to, like, reassure her, right? Like, whether it was a mm-hmm. wedding dress, it was just like, I could marry you, like, in a bed sheet and still think that you're the most beautiful bride. Like, he was just there to be a calming presence, whether that was um right him talking about the dress or, you know, him saying that, like, things will be fine as different people's flights got delayed like dylan's got delayed and he was just like well it's not our day yet right and him going to his mother and being like are these sides (laughs) and then her (sighs) reassuring her him and um uh what else what else happened it was like that they didn't ask for strippers we'll get to that but like they didn't ask for strippers and then they thought it was strippers and it didn't actually end up being strippers and i think that's when they finally said okay we're gonna start to take things in stride is when Mm -hmm. Liv lost her wedding ring ring. exactly her engagement ring her engagement ring which was really bad uh uh it's something that she didn't know at first was jordan losing his voice which is also really bad um but when the magicians, who were not strippers, but when the magicians showed up and found her ring and then she was like, all right, I'm going to take ownership of this. I'm going to cleanse the air. I'm going to like, <laughs> I'm going like, to kick saging Juju. saging this whole place. Exactly. I'm <laughs> saging this whole place. Uh, all of that stuff. And she like felt like she finally got a handle on it uh, after after her ring was found and after she was like saging the place. Um And so I think, like, they handled it in a good way. But, again, I'm like, I think that that was a good story for them after everything Mm -hmm. that they've been through just to give them, like, 
obviously Liv was freaking out about it, but I think Spencer was there as like the calming secondary figure there. Um, and yeah, just like nothing. We knew that they were still going to get married. We knew that they still wanted to get married. It wasn't anything that was like about their relationship. Yeah. And it wasn't anything that was going to deter the path that they were obviously on. So I, it makes sense for their storyline. So I'm not mad at it. I guess there were just like a lot of little random things, but it is what it is. I don't know how I would have made that better. Like I, Mm -hmm. I can criticize, but I don't have any suggestions on how to make that wrap up unless I just gave them like a very easygoing time, you know, like everything's like super romantic and things are going well, but yeah, probably be out of character. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well the, the interesting thing is is because the big one is at their wedding venue uh yeah that was at the end that was at the very end so that was their cliffhanger yeah. but again i feel like we also i i don't know what i would have done differently because we still need to watch something occur on tv and because this is like because these finales are centered around their wedding and their wedding weekend we need something to occur with this wedding. And so, Mm -hmm. yeah, I just don't know what I would do differently. And I think that not even just, not even just Spencer, but everybody else around them was very calm and I think very reassuring. And so I never got the sense as an audience member that this was an indictment on their relationship or even like mm. that it would even turn up to like be bad luck for, for something them. bad exactly because everybody was supportive i mean every from jordan to layla to laura to grace to coop like coop had that line about like oh bad omens are just like made up by the wedding industry like <laughs> to make yeah, more yeah, money so funny. it was like everybody was just like you all are going to survive this it doesn't matter whatever happens with everything going around around this wedding because it's it's gonna happen anyway and like you know for spencer like Liv's gonna be your wife very soon and 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 for Liv, uh spencer's gonna be your husband um and then jordan had that really adorable like love actually scene which was a call back to them getting in the hot tub and him interrupting <laughs> like him getting Liv out of the hot tub in season one Oh, but I didn't see that clip. I'm not gonna. Lie. Oh, you didn't. It was at the very I end. Didn't. He loved actually. Oh. Okay. Yeah, My he had a thing of called. No, it's not your fault. He had a thing <laughs> of cards, and he gave them uh, his wedding gift to them was like a list of coordinates uh, of the James house, which is where they like first got together when they got together. Remember when uh, Liv was just like, it's about, yeah, it's about time we got our shot of happiness. (laughs) And it's funny because it's like, he couldn't talk. So the the love actually reference was great. Also, I've talked to. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'm aware now. Oh, you remember? I saw him with the, I saw him with the flashcards. Again, disclaimer, I was cooking dinner and watching the show at the same time. Like, I was listening, guys. It's okay. I didn't Listen, see everything. It's okay. Guys. It's okay. <laughs> I, I specifically love that moment because um, the writer of this episode I've talked to, she's my, uh, what, the co-writer. I've talked to both of the writers of this episode, but the co- one of the co-writers is a really oh, cool. big rom-com fan. And so I was just like, I know what you are. Yeah. I know what you are, Carrie. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know who you are. <laughs> So that's it's nice lovely, that though. That that's a really yeah, thoughtful yeah. gift, too. Yeah, and then Jordan, like, I mean, writing out the, like, and I really love you guys was just, like, really sweet. And it's, you can definitely tell, I mean, obviously, he's he's matured a lot since the beginning. But mm-hmm. even, I think, in the midst of after he's gotten married, because he's now a married right. man, um, that he's matured even more oh, over yeah. the course of these last two years. Yeah. So what? When did they get married? Like how many episodes? Ago? Last episode. Last episode. Huh? Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We jumped like two years in the middle All of right. these two episodes. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay. So we haven't. So this is actually the first time that we've gotten to see them, besides As like, like a married little, couple. Yeah, yeah. Besides little things in the background. Uh. So again, like all of this is very new to us, which is partly why the. Uh, 
partly why I'm scrambling a little bit because it this I feel like everything was so new to us because it just feel we're gonna, I'm going to keep saying this, but it does feel like an epilogue where it was just like, whoa, we're just like jumping ahead. <laughs> yeah. And we don't really know uh, what's going on. We didn't see like what took place and how things progressed in between that time. Because mm-hmm. 20 months is a lot. It is a lot. And apparently like, I don't know if that this was just a... Um, because we, we didn't even get much about this, but I don't know if this was just a throwaway line or if it was a you know, a foreshadowing line, but I was like, are Coop and Patience engaged? Like, that was just a lie that they tossed in there. <laughs> and tell me how I saw Coop, and I was thinking to myself, what happened to that girl that she was there? What happened to Patience? Because I didn't see her. So I was, Patience I was is like, in, in New York. Up? Patience is in New York. So I... What is she doing? I right hope, now? and I think that she will be there for the last episode, but she just wasn't in this one. Okay, okay. I wasn't yeah. sure what had happened with that story. So line. patience and Dylan, I was like, uh, patience and Dylan oh. will hopefully be in this uh, next episode. Okay, is Coop a lawyer? Yes, I don't know. Early Did they mention was? anything about where she was with that? No, no. The last time, the last thing I saw was she was working with Laura Baker, and was yeah, like, oh, she was I supposed to be like, like graduating law school. Like at the okay. end of the last episode, but we like in this episode we didn't hear anything about it. So, hmm. Maybe next again, it even like, so even as an epilogue, I'm just yeah, I'm just very confused about like what's happening because we also don't know. Like we know that Daniel is no longer going to be the protagonist of the show, but we don't yeah. know about any other characters unless an article has literally dropped while we're on this line. Um, but we gotcha. don't know. I mean, we know. So Asher, Asher, it looks like Cody mm. is mm. leaving. But again, in terms of Olivia, uh-huh. in terms of Layla, it looks like Jordan is obviously staying. Um, okay. But yeah. Because he's going to continue with the school. They yeah. say he's going to take that job. Yeah. Oh, and let's talk yeah. about that. Let's talk about Well we're we'll pause on we'll pause on Jordan. We'll finish out the wedding stuff. The other okay. major storyline that was involved around this wedding besides like the bad juju was the fact that like Laura and Grace were having a mom off and they like had breakfast <laughs> with Spencer and Olivia to preview their speech i was kind of confused about like how this all came about maybe they were just having breakfast and the speech just came up but yeah they were trying to preview their speech um and then it became this like sort of competition between the two of them because it was all about who was going last like who was going to have the speech last and they were fighting over who wanted to go last um because they were both talking about oh it's gonna be sentimental Oh, I'm gonna bring up Billy and X, Y, Z, and so the whole time we see them fighting over who has the best speech, but also sort of kind of writing the speeches around each other. I was like, mm-hmm. "This is a very, I don't know I, story." <laughs> it really is because it's crazy how I feel like you took two people that have been pretty selfless throughout at least what I've seen as them like throughout the series as I've seen them as characters and then all of a sudden they made it very very like egotistical like they made it about themselves which is just kind of out of character I mean I guess it's like the mom of the bride or like the mom of the groom whatever you're gonna feel some type of way but these two women they've done so much together so I, I didn't really understand or see them having this type of competition it was also it was like this a is like, yeah yeah I, I i thought the same thing when i saw this part of the synopsis come out because i was like this doesn't seem in character to do and i and i understand that they needed to give people something to do like they had a very short time to write this episode <laughs> <laughs> i mean <laughs> they did they did they needed to give and and because the wet like the wedding is like what this is all centered over so they needed to give people do or give people something to do specifically centered around the wedding and again they didn't have a lot of time to write this i don't think um and i get it from a sense of 
this would be a different dynamic for them. But also, yeah. I think I just haven't been the biggest fan and how they've introduced this is new to you, but like how they've introduced like Laura dating again. We literally mm. met the guy like two episodes ago. So yeah. literally this has been very fast for the audience in terms of mm-hmm. like, I don't want to hear about Laura sexting. Like why are we like, why is Laura trying to punch up her, uh, punch up her speech? And also here's my signature rant for the evening before I get to the rant about Jordan is I'm just so tired (laughs) of, like, us as the audience just hearing about how all of the people from Crenshaw are so sentimental. Like, Laura is specifically the one who sort of was, like, making this more of a competition than Grace was. And then Grace was sort of the one to wave the right white flag and be like, oh, I've learned so much from you. And, like, da 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 I was like, please, I beg, make it stop. Make it stop. Laura has always been the person, the parent, that has been there for the group of kids the most. And so I'm just not taking seriously that suddenly Grace of all people, Grace who, I know this is a while ago at this point, but literally Grace who, even if we go back to season four, was like, oh, should I help Laura? Would that not be weird? (laughs) Obviously, a lot of time has passed, but I just could not get over the fact that, like, Laura was always the more giving of the two. And now, Mm -hmm. suddenly, when we've taken all of these time jumps, it's like, oh, no, actually, Grace is sentimental and Grace is the one who waved the white flag and who's, like, suggesting that they do all of these things. Her name is Grace. (laughs) <laughs> but you know what's funny I remember you ranting about this five <laughs> many seasons ago <laughs> I remember you said you're like Grace is not who she thinks she is I don't know why y'all made this she's character not. <laughs> she's, I remember this now and also she's like, it's she just, just had this like, maternal instinct type of thing yeah she, and I think specifically because I I knew that Grace was going to be the more sentimental of the two but I yeah. think it's in the way that we have like we have never heard Grace talk like this before, talking about, like, you know... And and by the way, I think, like, the idea of it is very great in terms of, like, we've both lost... Well, obviously, for Grace, it was her ex-husband, but we've both lost sort of our partners uh, to death, and we're sort of... We're doing this as single mothers, and I was a single mother before you were, right? So I love the thought behind it, but I just... I. And maybe it was earned and I'm just not accepting it because I never like accepted the friendship, but it just did not feel earned for me because I was just like, when has Grace ever talked like this to Laura before? (laughs) Okay, you feel like it came out of nowhere. I still feel like it came out of nowhere. And I think that it would have been really great if we had gotten at least a nod to her feeling this way before this episode but i think that ever since billy died it hasn't been about oh we're parenting together and it's been more about like them making billy and grace the best of friends like they were ride or die like that's really how they've presented (laughs) billy and grace not like you know friends who reconnected or like old lovers who like reconnected and you know form this like familiar relationship whatever they've literally presented us as like the best of friends never had a bad moment together <laughs> okay bff for life type there's of been some retconning ever since billy died and like this is just another instance of the retconning to me that i'm like i just i can't i can't <laughs> <laughs> can't get with it hey well i mean what are you gonna do that's I know. Okay. But after I ranted writing, about so. that, how did you feel <laughs> about, <all of> <laughs> about Well, I told you, I felt like the competition between the two was unnecessary. You, you said you did. You said it was odd. You said it was. Odd. Did you yeah. like how they ended it, though? Yeah, I thought what she had to say was really beautiful. So I, I like how it ended. 
um, it makes sense, at least to me, because I, I see how the two of them kind of have had to work together for the past six plus years um, to kind of have that moment of like, you know, with what you've contributed, like Spencer's life has been able to change and form in these ways. And honestly, the Bakers were like a second family to him. So I really liked this speech. I thought it was touching. Yeah, no, I like the speech. I just didn't know if the speech was earned. <laughs> <laughs> earned in terms of like earned in terms of coming from grace is really my only issue. <laughs> gotcha, but again, gotcha, I gotcha. love, I loved the idea of this speech, and I guess it's just because mm-hmm. I'm trying to think like what would I have done differently, and maybe it was like. I just wouldn't have chosen it to be a competition. Like I would have liked to see them like maybe Grace was the one who was having the speech at first. And then she like came to Laura for help. And then they were reminiscing and something like that versus this competition thing, because when they Mm -hmm. made it a competition thing, then I'm like automatically thinking like, Oh, of course they're going to make like Grace seem like, not the bigger person, but ultimately the bigger person, and like that, yeah, really where my like that's that's the bone that you have to pick the it, yeah, that's my bone that's my bone. <laughs> um, but it was not like it was a good it was a, i i do I do like the sentiment of the fact that like mm-hmm. because they have both dealt with grief that they are um each other's family, and that like grace for the first time, I think admitted like you not just for spencer but for herself and dylan as well they have become a family and i love that Um, sentiment for sure for sure for sure really big really big really big especially because again there's a whole you know and we jumped 15 months at the beginning of this season so we're missing like i want to say three or four years ultimately of their lives um that we just didn't get to see on screen of them like living in this uh, reality that they're talking about right now. So it's 15 months at the beginning of the season two. Mm -hmm. So in between season five, the months are just (laughs) exponentially growing (laughs) because I heard, I know I heard 15 then I heard five and I was like, Oh, so that's 20. Now you're telling me it was an extra 15. Yeah. So we're like 35 months into this. Literally 35 months, not even counting like the months that occur over the season. So yeah, it's been a long insane. We, but in terms of like just things that we literally haven't seen. (laughs) I know they are about, so Spencer's 21st birthday. And I think that he was the oldest out of them all um so spencer's 21st birthday was this season early this season and if we're jumping another year and a half they're like 22 23 Getting married which is still very young. young that's super young it is but then you think about how many athletes get married young a lot like going into the NFL, think about how many think about how many young NFL players are married. Well, yeah. and are like and yeah, like so. were and were already married, like going into the NFL. You kind of have to. Lock I feel it like down early. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, I was just like, that is. I, I was like, like twenty six or twenty eight. <laughs> There you are. I wanted there to be. I wanted there to be a forty-five month jump. <laughs> Add more money. Yeah. Wait, what, what is it? What is the LeBron meme? Here go Tim Wolf for y'all. <laughs> Here go Tim Wolf for you. <laughs> oh my god! Get the more you know, like Give young adult more. slash older adult type of thing. But it's all good. Yeah, I yeah, also feel like is this is just. I have two. I have two comments about things and you probably not gonna like one of them because I know that is your girl, but I have two comments. One comment is going to be about your girl. I'll say that for the second half. The first okay. comment is I feel like Spencer switched up his voice. Why does he sound deeper in the voice? Or has he just gotten <laughs> so you're, you're, older? You're, you're, you're about to go for live. You're about to go for live. Um, yeah, you know. He, well, and the thing is, is like, I think with, yes, his voice. Okay has gotten 
deeper. And I feel like that's just a choice from Daniel. Like, I don't... Okay. It feels like it's a choice from Daniel. But also, he's been doing this for so long. So I feel like he's... Like, he has a solid... Solid American accent now. And... Yeah. Or maybe here's what I'm thinking. He doesn't have to try as hard for his American accent. I think he like it just comes naturally. And so in mm-hmm. that way, maybe his like actual normal voice is coming through a little bit more. But also, gotcha. and maybe this has nothing to do with it, but they had him do Shakespeare a couple episodes ago, like in the show. Mm. And so he had mm-hmm. to use his British voice on. So his British voice and his American accent are sort of like intermingling a little bit more, I think, okay. as the seasons have gone on. I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> okay. Interesting. I don't know that. That yeah. actually would be cool to see like him speak normally because I had yeah. to say Shakespeare. Yeah. Cool. yeah. And so I just, I, I think it's a case of like, it, it it's like it's kind of like when you're driving is that he just doesn't think about it as much he's not as focused on yeah. it and so it's just like okay yeah it's second nature yeah exactly okay okay but also the second fact that thing. like pro- probably an actor like he's grown he's matured uh it's giving a little bit of bridgerton um who plays penelope oh I don't know. Her. Why am I blanking? No. Nicole? Nicole yes. something. Nicola. Carlton? Nicola. Nicola. Yes, Nicola. Nicola. And she also changed Penn's voice. So I assume it's also like just a actor thing. Yeah. Okay. That I didn't know. Um, but what was the second um, thing? Um the second thing. What's going on with Liv's hair? What is what I... see? What is that? Is it a it's not Listen, is it a wig? I released a predictions earlier today that was like me and my friend Kaya uh and my friend Carmen we reviewed the last episode and in our predictions me and Kaya just went on this rant about how they better come correct with Liv's hair. They didn't. <laughs> No, they didn't though. <laughs> you said no, no. <laughs> they didn't though. No, she's she's a pretty girl. I've seen her hair. The amount look of times so... you said no is crazy. <laughs> I've seen her hair look so good, and I'm like, why do they have her in this like 1980s party city? With what is going on? Like, she, I don't. That is it's, not. I don't know. Uh, but I think it was because, like, so she has shorter hair because... But the other thing is, like, it doesn't... Did she just keep her shorter hair? So, lo- sorry, I'm talking to myself. I'm having a whole conversation with myself. But she went to <laughs> London. Because I forget that you, like, don't actually know. So she went to London, yeah. and that was the fifteen month, the first 15 months. Um, okay. And she cut her hair. Like, her hair was cut the beginning of the season after she came back from London. And it was, like, a London cut or whatever with bangs. Um, so the thing is a London cut. Okay. So I guess she like grew it out. Short hair, like she grew it out and then like cut it again. I guess I don't know. Yeah, they shouldn't have her looking like that. But anyway, I just I it's not my company. I've just seen. I think some of the when she had like those, it wasn't even waves. It was like it was like wand curls. She looks so good. With, think when back, back. are we talking about? Back, back. Maybe like season two or three. I don't know how long. Yeah, no. Think back to when hey, I again, used to watch the show. She, <laughs> but yeah, you said back in my days. <laughs> Lips here yeah. used to be correct. No, um, used to be good. <laughs> I think again. I wish they would have given her. There was this style at the very beginning of season five. That yeah. actually, and I think that you did review that. It was like the very beginning of season five. I do okay. think that you, if I'm, I need to go check the receipts on that, but I think I'm right. Um, but she looked good. Maybe I'm lying, but she looked good. Um, yeah. 
she looked really really good with that hairstyle it was like a it's like a pony high pony um okay. with like curls all out in the back yeah no she, like i said she's a pretty girl like she can handle a lot of she's different gorgeous hairstyles. yeah i think we, i've seen her with like the big braids and those look good too i was just thrown off because i'm like i feel like this hairstyle aged her and maybe that's what they were way. going for made- I think that we were just going for like her looking. Yeah, and and here's what I don't want to do, right? Like if it's if it's her actual like natural hair and like her natural hairstyle, obviously I never want to come for that. But I was just very confused because I'm like, girl, why did looking? You know, why did I just look so yeah. old? But anyway, yeah, those are my two cents. Yeah. Two, things two cents. Deserved. Two cents. Um, I feel yeah. like this was like. The episode, though. The only thing I'll say is it looks like burgundy are their wedding colors, which I did predict. Okay. I did predict. That's that's fun. Um, but did other than that... the colors, too? I did. I did. Hey. I think somebody well, asked me burgundy? the question, though. I don't know. Okay, somebody like somebody asked, specifically asked the question, was yeah. like, what do you think their colors are going to be? And I was just like, I think burgundy. Just because it's like a very well, nice why burgundy? color. It's, oh, not, it's okay. a good neutral color that goes with our skin tone, I feel like. Okay, I wasn't sure if I no. had something to do like within the you know the series something that you had oh, seen like no I don't think burgundy is like very prominent for them. I'm like thinking back to their major ma- okay. moments and I'm like I don't think so. Yeah. I mean I feel like there is maybe a little bur- now that I'm thinking about it. There's a little burgundy in Vegas, but I don't think that that was like a decision. Gotcha. I think it was just a nice okay. color, just a nice color. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> that- guessing correctly. Jordan and Layla, Jordan and Layla. Um, <laughs> Jordan apparently got a concussion again in the championship game. <laughs> and so now, y'all didn't see- <laughs> okay, so so this is all not hearsay, but this is all just recanting what you guys didn't see. Yes. That's interesting. <laughs> Why did they get another the, concussion? In the championship game of his senior year, and he decided to focus on his health more for himself and his family, even though people we're saying you could still go to the NFL. And now he got a job offer that he apparently really wants to take. (laughs) Filling his dad's shoes coaching at South Crenshaw High. And then uh, Jordan and Layla were also no. looking for a house <laughs> that they didn't say, feel like. How do you like buy home. a house on a teacher salary? They're rich. They're fine. I was going to say in California, she's like, oh, it was a reasonable price. I'm like, for who? But she also is, um, she's, she got hella money. Yeah. She's like a music so does he. Or whatever. Yeah. He has a lot of money too. Billy and Laura's money. You know, once you get old enough, I don't count their money. Trust fund but. kids. They're both trust fund kids. <laughs> okay, fair uh, enough. <laughs> I will say, they had some funny lines. Uh, the Ghostbusters line was really funny like that, that they had. And then, the um, what was it? When Layla was trying to avoid telling Liv about Jordan's voice. She was just like, oh, it's a kinky marriage. <laughs> that was funny. That got a that got a laugh out of me. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little chuckle. Got a little chuckle. Got a little chuckle. Got a big got a good chuckle. Um, but yeah, what did you think about that this very brief storyline that we got of them, first of all, d- finding out everything that happened with Jordan in terms of his college career didn't really end because he won the championship game but then I guess he decided not to continue on and then he got an offer a job that we didn't see and I think we first heard about it maybe from Spencer who was talking to 
the coach, because Spencer had done it, by the way, Spencer had donated several things to South Country Crenshaw High, and he's like a celebrity now. Um, obviously, being MVP your rookie year. Um, in terms of Super Bowl MVP. And yeah, so we find out that Jordan got jo- offered a job coaching at South Crenshaw, and... <laughs> I mean, what else? I, <laughs> I don't know. What else is Jordan gonna do? What else is Jordan gonna do? But I just don't. <sighs> I don't even think it's about that for me. And I, I've talked, I've ranted about this enough because I saw this sort of coming a mile away. But I didn't know what the explanation yeah. was gonna be for this. And I just. Do you feel like it was just rushed? It was rushed. It feels like forced. It just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, it makes sense, but it just path. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a genuine path for Jordan. Um, Mm. Again, you haven't heard me rant, but I've ranted a lot, and I like ad nauseum about just how hard Jordan worked to get to this point. And for Mm -hmm. him to just, like, give up, which it seems like he's doing because he literally said, people said that he could still go. I'm assuming doctors, right, said that he could still go, and he just decided not to. Um, And let me say this. It just feels anticlimactic for Jordan. Like, it feels like Jordan is settling. And for both Jordan and Layla, it feels like they're settling and that did not make sense to me what what about Layla real quick makes you think that she's settling what happened in her career or life oh I mean I just even the fact that what was it she was like just hiring some guy to like sing at the lounge like even when it was just like oh is this a new artist you're signing she was just like oh he's just gonna be a resident here in Crenshaw, like, for the cafe that she owns now. That's her cafe. Um, okay. Yeah, and so we didn't even hear about anything going on with her label or anything like that. Like, (laughs) So not settling with each other, but, like, Mm -hmm. the way that their storylines are going, they're both settling, it feels like, in their careers. Got it. It seemed as though, like, it fizzled out. They were on this trajectory where you know, she was signing, like, new artists and she was going to be this big thing. It seemed like she would have, like, a huge label with yeah. premier artists. And then for him, with all he had worked toward, to be in the NFL as well. Yeah. And you feel like, okay, that they're just like, okay, I can see that. And to give him another concussion is kind of crazy, though. That's what I, and then, like, in the last game of your, it just felt like, yeah. I feel like I would have respected it if it, I mean, not, not even respected it more, but I feel like I would have accepted it more had it been, like, a actual, like, serious injury, mm. like, as in, like, you absolutely cannot play football again. Um, right, right. Not something that he will. But maybe this is their from. way of leaving the door open. But it also, are you actually leaving the door open? Because if he's just going to coach, like, you can't really just go from coaching to trying to go back into the NFL. So it really feels like that part of his story is done. And it just, it did, it was like kind of sort of leaving the door open, but it also like slammed it shut. <laughs> no, it was. I don't I don't think it was leaving the door open. I think perhaps what they meant to do was to show that for all of these years he's been striving toward this thing and certain decisions maybe were made for him or he went against his better judgment to like will this thing to happen and maybe this is the first time where he made a decision like I don't need to do this to prove that Maybe, like, he's worthy or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It seems as though maybe this is his first time being mature and stepping away from something that could cause greater injury. It's like a decision that he has made. He's come to terms with, hey, this just might not be it. Yeah. And and walking away of his own accord. 
and it, I feel like if we saw that on screen rather than like if it was like a mm. show not tell situation, especially because yeah. again it was so sudden like it wasn't okay. an injury that happened in the middle of his senior year where he like really had to think and he could come back but it was something that literally happened in a game one time like it feels like mm-hmm. he's okay like he's recovered from the- so I, I i guess it was like the act of it i think why i said it felt like they left the door cracked was because they said they literally put in the lines like people told him oh you should go anyway and then he was just like but thinking of my family obviously Layla had that line like thank you um for like thinking of your health and again I get the maturity aspect of it but it was we didn't get the like reasoning through this especially because he wasn't and also he wasn't speaking for most of this episode like did Mike lose (laughs) his voice or like what was the decision to have Jordan not speak throughout this episode but then we and i also think we got that scene with spencer like telling him that this is what he wanted rather us rather than us like hearing it from him it was just really odd (laughs) this huge moment in this guy's life and i guess to some people it still looks like other people are speaking for him and deciding for him yeah even even in this major moment where it was just like oh we're giving jordan like we're giving jordan a path jordan wasn't even coming to that conclusion it was spencer being like oh don't you want to do this for your dad and you know if you were offered this by anyone else you would jump at the chance and i'm like what do you (laughs) i don't (laughs) he's never been interested in coaching before so that's that's true so what about uh what's his face Asher, he's still a coach. And that's what I'm saying. We, and to give you some background on this season, Asher has been a coach for obviously like the past three seasons now. Jordan has really not expressed any sort of interest in being a coach. And actually, the last we saw of him, he was coming off of the best season of his career, (laughs) like in terms of college. And then apparently in his last year, because he was was set on returning and not... I get we sort of kind of got it, but he was returning to college to finish out his senior career, senior, um, senior year. Uh, and he returned the team to the championship as Spencer was in the NFL. So it's like, so clearly he had another amazing year. (laughs) He's just Mm -hmm. like, like Jordan was a Heisman finalist in the show. (laughs) It's literally like three episodes ago. And then we're hearing like, "Do you want to coach?" It's just the most random thing. Okay, I can understand your confusion now. I was like, "Oh, maybe yeah. it's this, this, and this." Yeah, I don't know. Time jumps are never easy. No, I don't not think at all. they don't. It's very hard to portray a story well, and like you kind of touched on a little bit before, it's hard to get connected to characters when there's been a time jump because like when you mentioned Laura Baker, you guys saw him maybe for the first time, like two or three episodes ago. And then now to have them in like this intimate slash sexual relationship, it's like almost jarring because you didn't get a chance to bond or build anything with the character. So yeah. 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 Um, but that was, that was it. It looks like they're not moving forward on whatever house this is. Yeah, because it doesn't feel like home. So I'm like, where are they going to live? I'm just waiting they're gonna for the They're going to live news. in their like family home. I'm just waiting for the yes. news that they're eventually going to take Willie's place from Asher, who's living there now, or was living there. Asher's 15 living? Months ago. Okay. Asher was living there. So wait, is anybody else living in the Baker house? But- Asher was living in Willie's Where's house. The- in Willie's house. Oh. So I'm like, Who's watch Willie the again? move to Willie's house. <laughs> Wait, who's Willie? Willie is... The grandpa. Who's Willie? Grandpa w- GW. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. So Asher's living in his house. Mm-hmm. But you're predicting that... 
Jordan and Layla are going to move into the Baker household. Potentially. Or Potentially. take that over. Yeah. Because that's the only place that's home. But I, no, I think it's, either, gonna, I think to go it's either going to be the Baker house or Willie's house. Honestly, all of the girls used to live in the Baker house, but I don't think anyone lives there anymore. Mm. Maybe Coop does, but I'm not sure. Like, she was supposed to move with Patience to New York, uh, but okay. I don't know if she ever did. So, and then it looked like Spencer and Liv were kind of still living with Jordan and Layla. Um, cause they had the, they had the beach house and they moved in together first. Spencer and Olivia did, but then Spencer's in New York. Okay. So it's kind of confusing. <laughs> it's so confusing. Okay. So the Baker house yeah. is currently I, That's empty. my prediction. My prediction is that Layla and Jordan are going to go there. So I guess he just wants to fill his dad's shoes. Yeah. Like down to the house again. <laughs> Any other predictions? You see? Any other predictions while we're on the predictions front? Um, what's my other prediction? Do you want me to read the synopsis? Make it official? Give you something to go off for of? the what for the next episode? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go for it. All right. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, I do part two. Uh, when an unexpected mm. phone call leaves Liv spiraling on her wedding day, the venue. Uh, the vortex bands, the vortex bands. I think it's supposed to say, together to create magic elsewhere. Spencer it goes MIA as he rallies a surprise of his own, while Laura brings in her own reinforcement. Finally, Coop receives some major news about her future. Okay, so there you go. Coop gets her story wrapped up too. Mm-hmm. Maybe we found out that like Coop is going to graduate, or she passed. Maybe the she gets bar. another job. Yeah. Yeah, something along those lines. It looks like um, this is becoming a little bit clear- clearer with Laura. It looks like Laura is bringing Wendy. Who's Wendy? That's her reinforcement, the grandmother. Who, by the way, Laura's mom, Wendy, and GW are dating now. Have we met Wendy before? We did. It was She was, like, very briefly in season three. Okay. Oh, so that's going to be the reinforcement. Interesting. Okay. I think so. And then, I guess, where do you think the wedding is going to be held? In, um, like, the James's backyard. Okay. Yeah. Something I have like some that. good intel. Or, like, at the baker's me. house. Yeah. Yeah. I have some good intel. Okay. It might be in the James's backyard. Oh, Okay. Well, you talk to writers and stuff, so you know. (laughs) This was not for writers. Let me rest assured. Uh, The showrunner wrote this with one of the other with one of the other producers. Um, Oh, cool. Yeah, Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then Spencer goes MIA to create, or yeah, what does it say? Spencer goes MIA as he rallies a surprise Uh of his own. That's the only thing I have a question mark about. I don't know what that surprise is. What kind of surprise? Surprise. Yeah, I don't know what I, it could be. Mm, no idea. Any other major do you think we'll find anything else major about these characters? Um, to wrap this season up? Oh my gosh. No, because they're all exiting, it's not gonna be anything crazy like somebody's pregnant. It's just gonna be you know, I was literally gonna say, Do you think up. there's gonna be any pregnancy scares? The, you, there's always I don't know on the table, right? People are hyping up that uh, that one scene, very brief scene where Jordan touches Layla's belly. Oh, how it was so! Cool. They've only been married for two days. Like <laughs> it's very soon. technically, technically, it's been a uh, how many months has it been? Twenty months. Yeah, twenty months. months. It's been yeah. twenty months. It's been twenty months. It's been twenty months. Okay, yeah, no, she's pregnant. Right? That's 15, a good way it's to been continue 15, the series. 15 to 20. Line. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. 15 to 20. If she touched her belly, maybe they're dropping hints. Yeah. Because that, that's what these shows do. You know, there's a wedding, somebody pregnant. Sometimes the people get engaged at weddings. The funniest thing would be at if, weddings. like, Liv was randomly pregnant. That would be, like, out of left field. That would really be a send-off for them. <laughs> yeah. Double go pregnancy. Right after oh the gosh. almost double wedding. That's that's 
so much. It's like, oh my gosh, our kids are going to be cousins and best friends. Talk about happy ending fairy tale fantasy. Yeah. Hundred percent. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see how it could happen. I listen. It's not too far off. Y'all are going to get our reactions either way because Chanel's going hey. back next week. To- <laughs> exactly. This time, I'm gonna make sure. Her now you have ready. all of the background information. This was just the setup to the actual finale. No, for real, because come back, come back, and listen to need us. Help. <laughs> need to help. Hopefully, you know, there's like a new hairstyle that they do my sis up real nice for her wedding. Because if it's the same hairstyle, we're gonna have problems. Yeah, and it was also interesting. I don't. I, I, I know we're about to wrap up, but it was interesting because I thought that she was living at the beach house, but then in the trailer, she was like packing up, and I guess she had to pack up her room or whatever. But I don't know. She was like packing up as if she still lived at the big house as well. Was, she was like, "We've had so many memories here," and I was like, "Okay." There's there's just so many people with places where these people have lived. So I know. <laughs> I guess there are little things <laughs> in each of the. She areas. said, "I gotta gather everything, everything up." Oh, wow. I'm gonna be really sad if this is Samantha's last last go at it. That's that's kind of what it's seeming like. I know that's what she said. She's leaving. Yeah. So she did say that she's leaving. No, I meant like in the trailer. She was like, "Oh, I'm packing um, up to leave to New York." We still haven't, and I was expecting, unless somebody sent me. Okay, no. Um, I was gonna say breaking news. I was like breaking news. I was like, let me check and see if somebody. <laughs> that's exactly how it happened the last time too. Somebody was like, "I feel oh, like wow. I got a text in the middle that was just like Daniel's leaving." So, um, oh wow. But yeah, we don't have any such news this week. Maybe stay tuned for next week when we get the official announcement about who's leaving and who's coming. I mean, they've greenlit the next season too, right? Yeah, yeah. So it'll be season seven? It'll be season seven. Clearly, Jordan is going to be the coach. Gotcha, gotcha. And yeah, Preach had that whole moment with Layla. (laughs) So I assume Layla will be back as well. Yeah. I mean that's her man. It would be weird it if is he her was man. back and she wasn't. I feel like I that's feel what, well it, the thing is that Daniel said that he was still gonna be on screen, so I assume he's gonna be like a guest star. So even though these characters are leaving, I still feel like we're gonna get them in some sort of like guest star to recurring capacity. Um they just won't mm-hmm. be like he just won't be the lead. Main character. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe not Daniel might not be recurring, he might be a guest star, but um yeah, it's gonna be, but I still think that there's a way that they can bring Liv back, and that's why I'm like, oh, I truly wonder what they're gonna do. You're hoping, yeah. I am hoping, yeah. Hoping against all hope. Listen, if there's one thing this series has taught me, it's to believe in happy endings. <laughs> it's to believe <laughs> your wishes do come so, true. Hey, they really can. They really can. It just, I kind of think about the first season of Bridgerton and I know it didn't subsequent seasons didn't really go exactly as planned because that main character from the first season didn't come back uh, yeah so we didn't get to see as much of who he married because of that so that's why I'm like ah, you know that's true but, and the thing is um you're you're absolutely you're absolutely right about this we'll be here and I also mm-hmm. think, you know, it might just be a good time for the actors themselves to dabble in other projects and see what else oh, is yeah, out there. Oh, like, yeah, for sure. You know, I know you want to sure. see Samantha doing other things and being in other roles that you oh, yeah. can yeah. admire and support her in. So it's it's only good. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. See what they choose. Um I assume that we'll be getting this news very soon anyway, so. Yeah. Makes sense. Stay tuned for next week! Stay tuned (laughs) for next week. 